Good morning, friends, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin. You have come to the right place as you listen to The Bright Side every day. You are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable. And you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side. And we welcome your calls at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have a health challenge that you or a loved one is dealing with, if you have questions about ingredients or formulations about our Truth Skin Health products or the longevity products or the longevity business, or if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you are advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all your favorite longevity products off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also click on the Join the Team link if you want to start a longevity business. And earn thank you checks associated with having your own business if you want to get your products at the wholesale price. If you enjoy the entrepreneur lifestyle, want to work out of the home, be your own boss, click on the Join the Team link for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. You can also call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for more info. Or if you want to order products, you can also call 866-735-2470 as an order line. Talk to a real live person. 866-735-2470 is the number. Please check out our Truth Skin Health products as well at truthtreatments.com. Our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist made with plant-derived fulvic minerals and high aluronic acid and amino acids as well as our Truth Collagen Recovery Complex. We're going to be talking a little bit about connective tissue and collagen today. Collagen Recovery Complex is made with collagen and collagen peptides and high aluronic acid and eggshell membrane and zinc, ideal for wound healing, for preventing or reversing gum disease, for protecting your arteries, and of course, for reversing or protecting or preventing the formation of fine lines and wrinkles on the skin. All our True Skin Health products are up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. We've been talking about apple cider vinegar and the active ingredient in apple cider vinegar for the last few days. If you think that apple cider vinegar is a fad or a fashion or a scam or just an old wise tale, using apple cider vinegar can give you tremendous benefits for a lot of different things, most especially around blood fats and blood sugar. I was just reading an article here from, uh, from the BBC, from BBC's website, bbc.com, and it talks about how... Uh, Apple cider vinegar used after meals reduced the amount of blood sugar in volunteers' blood by 36% over 90 minutes. Uh, another uh, paragraph in this article talks about how 13% reduction in blood cholesterol with a, quote, strikingly large reduction in triglycerides, unquote. Triglycerides are a form of fat, as we've been talking about. Blood triglycerides are, blood cholesterol is not really, um, it's kind of much ado about nothing lowering blood cholesterol, but blood triglycerides, blood fats can definitely be a problem, and apple cider vinegar used after meals can help lower blood triglycerides as well as blood sugar. Vinegars have been used for centuries for lots of different things. Vinegars are a source of the uh, short-chain fatty acid, acetic acid, a short-chain fat, a short fat. That's part of the body's, actually part of the cell's energy producing machinery. Acetic acid, as we said yesterday, is not water soluble. It's not fat soluble. It's both. 
It's amphiphilic. It dissolves in water and it dissolves in fat. And this accounts for its really wide range of benefits. It readily crosses cell membranes and it readily crosses inter or intracellular membranes, intercellular membranes, membranes inside a cell. It has a really interesting ability to just move around inside a cell through a cell and inside a cell. And this is what accounts for its wide range of benefits for everything from blood sugar control and cholesterol lowering and blood fat lowering, but weight loss, uh, apple cider vinegar has anti-cancer effects. It's antimicrobial. It's anti-infective. And when used topically, that's really where you're going to get some noticeable benefits, real, real striking benefits. Immediately, you're going to get some skin softening benefits, skin uh, smoothing benefits. It's a wound healer. It's technically an alpha hydroxy acid. Most of you probably have heard of that term. Certainly most women have heard of the term alpha hydroxy acids, like glycolic acid and lactic acid. It's an exfoliator. It can remove dead skin cells and leave skin soft and smooth. And the exfoliating properties of acetic acid slash apple cider vinegar can not only have immediate effects, not only have skin softening effects in the short run, skin smoothing effects, it can also help lighten the skin. When used gradually over time on dark spots, you can actually have skin lightening benefits. And in the long run, the exfoliating effects can also turn on the production of connective tissue. Now, you've, if you listen to this program for any length of time or gone to any of my presentations, you know that I'm always talking about building the connective tissue. This is the very essence of anti-aging inside the body and outside the body. Connective tissue makes probably makes up 20 or 30 percent of the body, and then if you count in the, the muscle tissue, which the connective tissue is embedded in, you've got about 80 percent of the body. And aging, in many ways, in most ways, is really a function of connective tissue deterioration. So, anything you can do to build connective tissue is going to anti-age you visibly for beauty and for appearance in terms of your skin, in terms of your, your uh, posture, in terms of your structure, your skeletal structure, but also internally, in terms of your organs, in terms of your cells, in terms of your blood vessels. Building connective tissue is the very essence of skincare. This is why I came out with my collagen recovery complex supplement. You can't be interested in anti-aging, whether you're a, uh, an individual person or whether you're a business or whether you're a therapist, and not focus on the connective tissue. And by the way, when you focus on the connective tissue inside the skin, you also get more moisture factors. You get softer skin. Dry skin is, in many ways, a function of connective tissue deterioration. And when you stimulate the production of connective tissue with acetic acid or alpha-hydroxy acids or apple cider vinegar or red wine or glycolic acid or lactic acid or really any of these alpha-hydroxy acid substances, not only do you get more collagen, not only do you get more fibers and structural support, but you get more moisture factors. You get more hyaluronic acid. You've probably heard of hyaluronic acid as a topical ingredient. There's all kinds of commercials now for hyaluronic acid containing products. But guess what? The best way to up, uh, improve hyaluronic acid levels in your skin is not to use a topical product with hyaluronic acid in it, but to turn on the production of hyaluronic acid with topical exfoliation. Speaking to somebody who's been in the skincare business now since 1982, that's a long time. I've been doing, been in the skincare business as a researcher, as a therapist, as a formulator, as an educator, as a pharmacist, as a business person. I got to tell you, our understanding of what the connective tissue is and how it impacts our skin, or really our lack of understanding of what the connective tissue is and how it, how it uh, impacts our skin, costs us billions of dollars every year in wasted money. Wasted money on, uh, on moisturizers, wasted money on, on wrinkle creams, wasted money on anti-aging products that don't work, that sit in your bathroom medicine cabinet, and you never use because they don't do anything. Or lack of understanding about how the skin works and about its relationship to how the skin looks, to its appearance. We all want beautiful skin, but we don't really understand how the skin works. And this is why you have ignorant bookkeepers and marketers and bankers and advertisers and celebrities who are in the skincare business. I cringe every time I re read about a celebrity that's in the skincare business that knows nothing about the skin. Yes, I'm talking about you, Cindy Crawford. Just one of them, though. There's lots of them. I cringe every time I hear a marketer or a bookkeeper in the skincare business who knows nothing about the skin, who's purporting, promoting, trying to uh, sell you a skincare product. They know nothing about the skin. And unfortunately, there's a lot of skincare professionals who fall into that category as well. But you don't have to fall into that category if you listen up, because we're going to talk about exactly what the skin is, what the connective tissue is, and what you can do to have beautiful skin using apple cider vinegar and using other strategies as well when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return after this. Okay, we are 
back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about apple cider vinegar, acetic acid, exfoliation, connective tissue, skin health problems you or a loved one may be dealing with, any health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, got lines open at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We're talking about acetic acid and apple cider vinegar for the skin. Apple cider vinegar is super easy to make if you ever want to make it yourself. You just chop up some apples, put a little sugar and water in the apples, let the thing ferment, and you'll get some apple cider vinegar. Make your own apple cider vinegar. It's easy enough to buy, though. Uh, for a couple bucks, you can get it at a health food store or a supermarket. I recommend organic apple cider vinegar. I recommend Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar, although there are some other other companies that are making it. Apple cider vinegar seems to have a lot more health benefits than other forms of vinegar. And by the way, there's other things in vinegar uh, that can have uh, provide health benefits. It's not just the acetic acid, although we have been emphasizing the acetic acid, and we'll talk about that for a little bit longer. Acetic acids, benefits for the skin specifically, but you get potassium, magnesium. There's actually an ingredient in apple cider vinegar that's super important called pectin, P-E-C-T-I-N. You've probably heard of pectin if you make jams or jellies. It's a thickener. Uh, we're going to spend some time talking about pectin here in the next couple of days. Pectin is a very interesting detoxification substance, and by modifying pectin, you can actually make a very important anti-cancer substance. Speaking of cancer, I'm going to be at the Cancer Prevention Convention this Saturday, uh, this Sunday, sorry, this Sunday, August the 26th in Dearborn, Michigan, a Google Cancer Prevention Convention if you want to get tickets for that. Uh, modified, cit modified citrus pectin is a form of pectin that's been modified to be a little bit smaller than regular pectin. has been used to treat various forms of cancer, particularly prostate cancer, and we'll be talking about that in the next couple of days. But for now, I want to talk about the acetic acid uh, and also acetic acid's uh, pro uh, uh, connective tissue building properties. Connective tissue building is the very essence of anti-aging especially for skin aging, for wrinkles, and for fine lines. Building connective tissue is what it's all about when it comes to having beautiful skin. And not just for wrinkles and fine lines, but also for dry skin, also for thinning skin. Pretty much all of the unpleasantries associated with skin, uh, with skin health, including eczema, psoriasis, atopic dermatitis, acne, have some element of connective tissue deterioration or connective tissue dysfunction associated with them. Connected, building connective tissue is not just about appearance. It can also help build your, uh, save your life. Connective tissue deterioration in, in the blood vessels is responsible for heart disease. Connective tissue deterioration in the heart is a f uh, factor in arrhythmias and electrical conductivity issues. Connective tissue deterioration is associated with mitral valve prolapse. If you're sick, there's a very good chance it involves connective tissue. And when I'm talking about sick, I mean long-term chronic degenerative diseases. If you're dealing with any long-term chronic degenerative disease, and some 60 to 70% of Americans over the age of 40 are dealing that way or are suffering from some kind of, uh, kind of long-term chronic illness, you can rest assured there's some element of connective tissue breakdown involved, and building connective tissue is really, really important. As far as the skin goes, if we think our skin condition is about the surface, if we don't make the connection, no pun intended, between the skin and the connective tissue, we are going to miss, we're going to throw away important elements that can not only help us with our beauty and our appearance, but can also help us stave off a heart attack or a stroke or cancer. The surface of the skin, the epidermis, epi meaning on top of the dermis, depends on the dermis. And the dermis the layer underneath the skin that makes up 90% of the skin. Think of your skin like an iceberg where the tip of the skin, the top of the skin is like the tip of the iceberg. Tip of the iceberg is all you see, but 90% of the iceberg is underwater. Well, that's much the same way that the skin is structured. The tip of the skin, the, uh, the epidermis, is like the tip of the iceberg. It's like about 10% of the skin. 90% of the skin is underneath, and it's in the dermis, and that's the connective tissue. And the connective tissue underneath the surface of the skin feeds and nourishes and detoxifies and oxygenates and electrifies the surface. That means once that connective tissue breaks down, once it thins, and that happens to all of us as we age, the surface of the skin, which we all see, is going to suffer because it will not be fed as well. It will not be detoxified as well. It will not be electrified or oxygenated as well. It's the dermis that does all, all this stuff for the epidermis, the connective tissue slash dermis. You can think of them as the same thing. 
is the matrix. Matrix meaning mother, like the womb. Matrix means womb or mother. It supports, it nourishes, it takes care of the tissue above. This is so important and so underappreciated. Even worse, when the body is toxic, usually from the digestive system, but also cigarette smoke. In fact, cigarette smoke and food are the two main toxins, and that includes sugar. Those are the main ways we toxify the body. The connective tissue bears the brunt of the toxicity. This is so important. The connective tissue bears the brunt of the toxicity because the body will shove the toxins, the sugar, the cigarette smoke, the drugs, all the waste products from food that it can't get rid of, it will stick it in the connective tissue. The connective tissue is the great dumping ground of blood toxicity. Remember, all disease is cell disease, and all cell disease starts off with dirty blood. The dirty blood, the connective tissue is the, is the garbage dump for the dirty blood. That's how we age. That's how we get sick. That's how cancer is related to digestive toxicity and other toxicity. That's how all diseases are related to toxicity because the connective tissue is the garbage dump. And once the connective tissue is toxic from all the crap that's in the blood, there's no way it can feed the cells appropriately or oxygenate the cells appropriately or detoxify the cells appropriately or electrify the, the cells appropriately. And that's how we get sick. And this is no mere cosmetic problem. Heart disease, heart attacks, blood clots, organ failure, depression, mental health issues. These are all eliminate are all, <clears throat> excuse me, are all linked to accumulated toxicity from the connective tissue. Turkey neck is a classic example of connective tissue deterioration. Marketers will tell you that turkey neck is a skin condition. It is not a skin condition. It is a connective tissue condition. You'll see commercials for Dr. Pericone's cold laser for turkey neck. That makes me so mad seeing these kinds of things. Cold laser for turkey neck. What the heck is cold laser for turkey neck going to do if your body is toxic? Movie stars use a, a cold plasma cream, according to this commercial. I don't care if you're, if you're Dr. Savak or Dr. Pericone or Cindy Crawford or Helena Rubinstein. If you are selling some kind of skincare product that's supposed to take care of connective tissue without addressing the inside of the body, you're lying. You're misleading. It's not fair. And you can spend your money on all these products. That's, that's, you may even get a little bit of benefit, but the fact of the matter is you're still breaking down. Your connective tissue is still breaking down, even if you get a little benefit from your Dr. Paracone product, your Cindy Crawford product. And by the way, this is the great gift of the skin. We can use the skin as a diagnostic tool that will reveal what's happening inside the body. If you have turkey neck on the outside of your body, you've got osteoporosis on the inside of your body. And you've got uh, deterioration of blood vessels on the inside of your body. And all of these things go hand in hand. And by understanding how the skin is structured and what the skin is made up of, we can save our lives. We can add years to our life. We can prevent the development of chronic long-term degenerative diseases and horrible health conditions like cancer. By interpreting our connective tissue breakdown on the outside of our skin as connective tissue breakdown internally as global or systemic connective tissue deterioration and take corrective measures immediately by using nutritional supplements and dietary strategies and exercise too, by the way. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. As a are back on the bright side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. You can purchase your longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also check out our blog posts and news stories at all our websites. We have videos and lots of good health information as well. And, of course, you can purchase your longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can click on the Join the Team link to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Or you can call 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business. Hopefully, we'll see you longevity distributors in San Diego next week at the convention. If you haven't been to a longevity convention and you are in the longevity business or you're thinking about joining the longevity team, 
It is so inspiring, it's hard to describe. You meet people who have lost 150 pounds, 100 pounds, who've gotten off all their meds, who've gotten up out of wheelchairs, who prevented horrible surgeries, and a lot of really good folks. That's the one thing longevity distributors, that's one of the things longevity distributors have in common is they're all interested in helping make the world a better place. And I've been involved with the longevity company and longevity distributors now for over 20 years, since 1998. Actually, this is my 20th year. It's uh, July 1998, and uh, this is a theme that's been consistent over the last 20 years as the company has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. What hasn't changed in the company is the fact that everybody who's involved in the company is interested in making the world a better place at the most fundamental level there is, which is the level of good health. If this sounds interesting to you, if you're not a distributor, I really encourage you to click on the Join the Team link and sign up. If you are a distributor, I really encourage you to come to San Diego this year and check out the Longevity Convention. There's lots of great classes, self-help classes, personal development classes, as well as sales classes and product classes. I'll be doing a couple of classes myself about... Uh, New CBD product. Yes, Ingevity is now going to have a CBD, cannabidiol product, as well as I'll also, I'll also be doing a skin health class there too. That's this uh, th starting next Thursday, July, uh, August 23rd, going through Sunday, August 26th. I encourage you to come on out to San Diego. And if you are coming out to San Diego, make sure you, if you see me, you stop by and say hello. All right, we'll take your phone calls here momentarily. Got a couple lines open, 844-236-6010. I want to read you a couple stories first, and then we'll get your calls. This is from, uh, let's see here, from the, journal, from the uh, website Health Day. Rehydration, how much is too much? Yes, it's possible to get too much of a good thing. In recent years, a number of athletes have died from a condition called exercise-associated hyponatremia. What does that mean? Well, it means that... Uh, when you drink water, you can actually dilute your electrolytes. I've been saying this for years. Everybody wants to drink a lot of water. It's a good idea to drink a lot of water. The body is 60 or 70% water. By the way, the water that we drink is not the same as the water in the body. The water in the body is bound water. It's a different type of water than drinking water. And this is kind of something we've only really discovered over the last maybe 20 or 30 years of the different types of water. The water in the body is not the same kind of water that you drink. So you drink water, that doesn't automatically mean that you're going to get the benefits of the water. When you drink water, that water has to be tied up. It has to be bound. And guess what it has to be bound or tied up to? It has to be bound to the connective tissue. So you can drink all the water you want, but if your connective tissue is deteriorating, you may not be getting all the benefits of that water. In fact, you could be making, causing more problems than uh, if you didn't drink a lot of water in terms of electrolyte Dilution. You'll be diluting your electrolytes. And not only that, you may be ex increasing the excretion of your electrolytes, which means the more water you drink and the more beyond tangy tangerine you want to be using to help replace those electrolytes that you could be eliminating through urination. The more water you're drinking, the more connective tissue building strategies you want to use. That's why I came up with my collagen recovery complex, which you can find out all about at truthtreatments.com. It's why you want to be doing your bone broth protein. It's, you want to be, it's why you want to be exercising. Exercising is also a great way to build connective tissue. So yes, water is, a, is great, but you got to be a little bit careful with drinking too much water. Otherwise, you may end up dealing with this exercise-associated hyponatremia, which results from excess fluid and upsetting the body's natural electrolyte balance. Every once in a while, you hear of football players, of, uh, young, of, off, of professional football players or high school football players who die after consuming large amounts of, of water, and that's the end result or the potential end result of exercise-associated hyponatremia, EAH they call it, but it could be exercise-associated imbalance of any electrolytes, not just sodium. Speaking of electrolytes... 38 children in Paraguay presented to an emergency department with severe non-infection mediated asthma. That's asthma that's not related to an infectious disease. They failed to improve after two hours of standard therapy, and then they were given magnesium sulfate, large dose of magnesium sulfate. And guess what happened? Many of these, uh, many of these patients, these young patients, improved. The proportion of patients who were discharged to home within 24 hours was significantly higher in patients who gave, were given prolonged infusion of magnesium. Magnesium is amazingly important as an opener 
It helps open up blood vessels. It ha- helps open up lung vessels or lung, um, lung bronchii, lung tubules. I just got a text today from some gal who used magnesium for her husband for his uh, high blood pressure. And she said, thank you, Ben. Thanks for your tip. Well, it's not my tip. That's just common knowledge to anybody who knows about magnesium. If you have a heart attack, they'll put magnesium right in your heart. Magnesium is unbelievably important, not just because it's involved in hundreds of different chemical reactions in the body, but also because it's the number one mineral deficiency. Magnesium is found abundantly in nature, but it's found in vegetables, which for some reason human beings don't like to eat. So make sure you're supplementing with your magnesium, particularly particularly if you're dealing with any kind of blood pressure issue, cardiovascular health issue, or if you're dealing with asthma. Magnesium is also important for detoxification and plays a role in liver health too. And magnesium is important for blood sugar control. All right, we'll get to one more study here, one more article, and then we'll get to your calls, 844-236-6010. This is from the journal Frontiers in Neuroscience. Even a quick meditation aids cognitive skills. College students who listen to a 10-minute meditation tape complete simple cognitive tasks more quickly and accurately than peers who listen to a control recording on a generic subject, according to researchers at Yale University. It's not some airy-fairy hippie talk. It's actually Yale University, a bedrock of orthodoxy when it comes to medicine. Meditation is unbelievably valuable. Oh, my God. Everybody should be meditating five to ten minutes a day, especially if you're dealing with a health challenge. You don't have to be religious, and you don't have to be a Buddhist, and you don't have to sit cross-legged and, and chant a mantra or, or make an om sound. It could be something as simple as focusing on your breath or focusing on your heartbeat. Meditation activates alpha brain waves. Meditation lowers cortisol levels. Meditation improves blood sugar control. And meditation improves cognitive skills. If you're dealing with any kind of breakdown in cognition, if you're losing your memory, if you're dealing with the early forms of dementia, meditate for five to 10 minutes a day. Now, you'll certainly get spiritual benefits if you do it long enough, but you don't have to do it for spiritual reasons. You could do it simply to improve your brain, the health of your brain the health of your circulatory system, the health of your immune system, to relax, to help you fall asleep. The benefits of meditation are almost endless. And I encourage everybody to do just five minutes a day. It only takes five minutes out of your day, and the benefits are absolutely tremendous. And they've been verified over and over and over again. And by the way, super high-powered people, CEOs and athletes, And business people understand the power of meditation. The more high-powered they are, the more likely they are to have a meditation practice. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back with your phone calls right after this on The Bright Side. Don't go away. Water. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. Time to hit the phones. Good morning, Tom in Idaho. How you doing, buddy? Good, yourself? Um, I'm doing good. I, I've been do- diagnosed with level two uh, MS, which apparently I've had for years because of uh, an unstable gait and uh, imbalance. Uh, rather than using the hard drugs, I've elected to go with a high dose vitamin D uh, cure for MS, and I'm currently using 80 to 100,000 I use of of uh, vitamin D, and I've um, also started uh, the uh, 100 milligram, uh, microgram of K2 to counter the calcium loss. Mm, um, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. How are you doing? Are you improving? Um, I'm not getting worse, so... Well, that's thoughts. not good. You should be getting better, not not getting worse. Here's the deal with fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin D and K. Uh, all your fat-soluble vitamins. Your fat-soluble vitamins are DEEK, D-E-A and K, and they're held in, in the body in balance. And once you start sticking vitamins in the body in high doses out of balance, it's just not a good idea, particularly vitamin D, which is a hormone. I mean, we call it a vitamin, but it is literally a hormone, which means it has instant effects. And that's not necessarily a good thing because, as I say, the balance of fat-soluble vitamins is critical, and you're bypassing the body's controls. The body holds all of these vitamins in balance. Now, this is a a doctor's strategy to just turn turn nutrients into drugs, and I'm not a fan at all. Uh, Here's the thing. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disease. It's not a vitamin D deficiency disease, although that may be involved and that may be a contributing factor. 
but it's an immune system condition. The immune system, you've, you, I'm sure you know this, right? It's autoimmune, right? You've heard that term? Yes, yes. Uh, okay. So for the listeners, autoimmunity is when the immune system just starts to attack the body. In the case of multiple sclerosis, it attacks the nerves, the nerve, the, the, the sheath on the nerve. Why did, the question is, is why is the immune system doing this? That's really the question. If you want to solve the problem, you got to figure out what's starting it, what's causing it. It's not caused by vitamin D deficiency, although that may be a contributing factor. It's caused by an immune system problem. For some reason, the immune system is perceiving the nerves, the nerve sheath, the covering on the nerve, as an enemy, and it's attacking it. Why is this nerve, what caused this nerve sheath to become so distorted that it now looks like a, a, an enemy, that it now looks foreign to the body? What is causing this distortion? Well, it's the same thing that goes wrong no matter what you have. It's called inflammation. An autoimmune disease is an inflammatory disease. The inflammation comes in from some place for something that's causing inflammation. So we've got to say, what is inflammation? Inflammation is protection. Protection or defense implies offense. There's an offending agent that's getting into your body. It's as simple as that. Autoimmune diseases are the end result of offending agents that are getting into the body. Now, those offending agents could be heavy metals or vaccines or toxins, and all of these are possible, but the most likely suspect for offending agents getting into the body is going to be food, period, end of story. This is not complicated. I'm not saying this to you, Tom. I'm saying this to your medical professionals. It should not be complicated. It's just like common sense. Autoimmune diseases need to first be backtracked to some kind of food issue. Now, Tom, I don't know you. I've never talked to you. But I'm telling you something here that is going to make me like I'm a psychic. You have had a food problem for years. And you know this because you had a digestive problem for years. How old are you? In your 40s or 50s? 60s. Okay, 60s. Am I right? Have you had a digestive problem for years or bowel movement issues or gas yeah. or bloating or some kind of issues with food or digestion? Yes. Now, how do I know this? I'm not psychic. I'm not a wizard. It's just common sense when you understand the body. So if you want to prove this to yourself, stop eating for a few days. At this point, you might be so broken down that it may take a little bit longer. But even for a few days, you're going to start to notice an improvement. Get a book called The Walls Protocol, W-A-H-L-S. Dr. Terry Walls, <coughs> excuse me, medical doctor, MD, cured herself of multiple sclerosis by listening to The Bright Side. No, I'm just kidding. She didn't listen to The Bright Side. But she did things that we talk about on The Bright Side. And I've had her on The Bright Side as a guest. She fasted, and she changed her diet, and she didn't have any more MS, period. And she's an M medical doctor. If you go on WebMD's website, you'll see an article on fasting and multiple sclerosis. They listen to the bright side, too. No, I'm just kidding. They didn't listen to the bright side, but they could have because it's what we talk about every day. And it's not because I'm some kind of food Nazi. I'm not. I'm just telling you, if you have an immune condition and you understand how the immune system works, and by the way, it isn't complicated. It's just a defense system. You'll see what I'm talking about is true. Now, you can also support digestive health, which you should be doing, in addition to eliminating problem foods and fasting. And this is not just for Tom. This is for anybody dealing with an autoimmune disease, including MS. Get on your, uh, your ultimate enzymes. Use them both on an empty stomach in the middle of the day, as well as with foods. Make sure you're doing apple cider vinegar with your meals. You might also want to throw in a little bit of apple cider vinegar in the middle of the day on an empty stomach. Make sure you're on the nightly essence probiotics. I'd be taking uh, eight or nine capsules a day. Make sure you're doing fermented foods, lots of them, fermented veggies particularly, but also, <clears throat> excuse me, if you can handle dairy, fermented dairy, but fermented veggies particularly and veggie juices and changing the way you eat. Now, vitamin D can be helpful. There's no doubt about it, but I'd be getting my vitamin D from the sun. You live in Idaho, so you, well, you get some, you're getting some sun this summer probably, right? Yeah. Go lay, go lay out every day. You're going to feel better just from that. High doses of vitamin D is playing with fire, in my opinion. High, super high doses are actually can be toxic, super high doses. So I, it's just, I, I don't recommend it. Not that it's not important, but you want to get your vitamin D from the sun, ideally, or from organ meats and, and, and uh, fish oil uh, as a secondary source. And just injecting medical, injecting pharmaceutical vitamin D is just really a dangerous strategy. Uh, vitamin K is important for sure. I don't know about high, super high doses of it, but I would definitely be taking vitamin K. You also want to take vitamin E. Uh, and if you, are going to if you are going to continue taking your vitamin D and vitamin K pharma pharmacologically in injections, make sure you're taking vitamin E. 
vitamin E, uh, e and also vitamin A. Your doctor should definitely not be giving you vitamin D without vitamin A. Tell him, tell him about that or ask him about that. Should I be taking vitamin A also to balance my vitamin D? They go together. 20,000 IU of vitamin A, by the way, and also around 400 IU of vitamin E in mixed tocopherol and mixed tocotrienol forms. I'd also be adding zinc, 50 milligrams a day, zinc picolinate. If you want to take high doses of a vitamin, use high doses of the B complex, the entire B complex, especially vitamin B12. And again, this is something you might want to talk to your doctor about. If you're going to inject a vitamin, that's, a, that's the one to inject is vitamin B12. But focus on the food. You might also want to also focus on blood sugar. Listen, you should be noticing that you're getting better within less than two weeks. Not that you're not getting worse, but that you're getting better. That's how you'll know you're on the right track, particularly with the food. And please get that book, The Walls Protocol. Last but not least, omega fatty acids are really important. Your ultimate EFAs, I'd be doing 9 to 12 capsules a day. They're wonderfully anti-inflammatory. Both the omega-6s and omega-3s, by the way, are important, not just the omega-3s, although, although those are the main anti-inflammatory uh, essential fatty acids. There's so many ways that you can improve, and quickly, Tom. Uh, also, if you want to do some injections, do injectable vitamin C. Always a good idea. And also injectable glutathione. Last but not least, I'd be throwing in some ultimate selenium, maybe 600 to 800 micrograms a day. That's no means, by no means comprehensive, everything I told you. But if you do everything I told you, you are going to guarantee Guaranteed, guaranteed, get better. And quickly, within a couple of weeks or less, you'll start to notice results. And I, I'd love it if you'd stay in touch with us, Tom, so uh, other listeners, you can help other listeners with your, with your uh, history. All right? I'm not, taking, I'm not taking injections. I'm taking capsules. And what is the danger of the vitamin D, and well, how do min minerals factor into this? Well, minerals are super duper important, and minerals are even more fundamental, uh, more fundamental than vitamins. That's why I say the zinc is important. But I, I, I can't really give you all the comprehensive. You know, I, I can't give you comprehensive information because uh, there's so many. But zinc is important. Uh, magnesium is important. Copper is important. Uh, there's so many. Uh, selenium is important, as I say. But vitamin D toxicity is a real thing because vitamin D and calcium go together. Vitamin D toxicity can, be, uh, can, be, uh, can result in a buildup of calcium in the blood, which can cause muscle weakness, uh, problems with frequent urination, blood problems, nausea and vomiting, all kinds of issues from hyper, hypercalcemia, too much calci calcium in the blood. So you got to be really careful with that because all of these things are held in balance. And that's where the magnesium can help you too if you're doing uh, high doses of vitamin D. Just Google vitamin D toxicity. It's a real thing. Super high doses of vitamin D. Okay? I'm out of time, buddy. I'm, I apologize. I wish I could give you more complete information, but we're just out of time. All right, good luck, and I hope you'll stay in touch with us, Tom. Thank you for your call. Appreciate it. And I'm sorry if we left you on hold, but uh, we're just flat out of time on the Bright Side. Thanks for listening. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products. And to click on the Join the Team link to start a longevity business and join me in my mission to help educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Truth Skin health products are all available at truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.